I think I know the perfect time to introduce Batman into the DCU. And if you don't agree with me, leave me a comment in the comment section. And don't forget to hit that like thumbs up button because that's the only way that you can help out the channel. Now let's start with this thing of the DC Universe, which is undergoing a significant transformation under the guidance of James Gunn and Peter Safran. And their gods and monsters plan promises a fresh start with all these interconnected stories and new in a new generation of superheroes. But with this exciting news and direction, one question is still looming. What about the Batman? With the recent success of the Matt Reeves, the Batman star starring Robert Pattinson, and the huge success of the Penguin series, fans are understandably curious about how this is gonna fit into the larger picture. Now, the good news is that both universes will coexist. James Gunn has confirmed that Reeves the Batman will continue as a separate entity, allowing for a unique and independent exploration of the character. And this means that we're gonna have two very different Batman franchises, each with its own tone, style, and creative vision. Now you guys already know within the DCU, there's a Batman film in development, Batman Brave and the Ball. Now this film is gonna introduce Damian Wayne delve into the complex dynamics of the Bat family. This film is gonna be directed by Andy Muschietti, and he promises to be a unique, exciting, and fantastical chapter of the Batman saga. Now, to ensure that both Batman's franchises thrive, clear distinction is key. Reese Batman offers a grounded, nor inspired take, while the DCU Batman it will likely embrace a more classic, fantastical, more comic booky aesthetic to it. Now, the question is, how long will it take for us to see the DCU Batman? Will both of them be running around at the same time? And I don't think that's gonna be the case. I'm the real Batman. I'm Batman. No, I am Batman. That's a French dude. Especially after David Saslav said, there is not going to be four Batmans running around. That's why Michael Keaton was still around and Ben Affleck was a thing. Now, and here's an interesting idea. Since we won't see multiple Batman at the moment, uh, to, and to avoid a long wait for the Brave and the Bold, Mary can potentially film his next two Batman movies back to back. This will allow him to complete his trilogy sooner and potentially releasing the Batman Part 2 in 2026 and then Batman Part 3 a year later in 2027. And I think this strategy will give Matt Reeves space to fully realize his vision while also clearing the way for the DCU, the Brave and the Bold to potentially arrive in cinemas in 2028 or a little bit later without feeling the overshadow of the Batman or Matt Reeves the Batman. Okay, now, so now looking even further ahead, a world's finest film featuring the new Superman and a Batman teaming up could be a powerful way to launch the next phase of the DCU after Gods and Monsters. This will not only be a box office juggernaut, it will bring together two of the most iconic superheroes of all time, but it will also be a fantastic opportunity to solidify the tone and the direction of the new shared universe. Imagine a film where it captures the classic dynamic of these two heroes, the bright optimism of Superman clashing with the brooding, the Batman, while also showcasing the exciting new interpretation brought to life by Gunn and his team. And also taking some inspiration from some of the greatest world's finest comic book runs that could provide a wealth of compelling storytelling. For instance, one of my favorites, Superman, Batman, Supergirl. Especially since Supergirl is already in this universe, she will be showcasing her powers and her connection to both Superman and Batman. Now, let me know if you have a good plan on when or how they can introduce the new Batman into the DCU. If you agree with me, let's talk about it. Until next time, never let your nerd die. Peace.